Our gracious Father and our good God, we bless your holy name because anytime we come before your presence, you have not left us without the truth of your word. And today is another day, and I plead that the blood of Jesus will cover me. I pray that the name of Jesus will avail for your church, O oh God, and that, Lord, your word will have effect in every life that hears in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, breathe through the content of your word and let it have an eternal revelation, an eternal blessing for those and every one of us that hears in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Use your word to uplift every heart, to console every soul, and bring us to where we ought to be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You might be seated, please. Thank you very much. Amen. Today we have a wonderful message that we want to share with us. And I want to tell you up front that we are actually going to share and then we are going to pray. We are going to pray. Because the topic today is uprooting the faulty foundations. Uprooting the faulty foundation. If the foundation is wrong, there is actually a big, that is a, a, a problem that will continue. If there is a mistake a builder makes and is a foundational problem, it is going to affect that house and that house might eventually crumble. In the book of Matthew chapter 15, Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, the Bible says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be uprooted, shall be rooted up in the name of Jesus. Young lady, I don't know what, I don't know a lot about your history. Young man, I don't know what has happened in your yesterday, but there is the confidence that I have in the Lord that anything that my father has not planted, that's not planted, shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus. And my prayer is that it will be fulfilled in each and every one of our lives in Jesus' name. You see, foundations are very, very important in life. And foundational problems are real problems. Many questions are, will not be answered because of the issue of uh, foundation. There are places when in fact, it's happened here in Mecklenburg County. Um, a house with 40 foundation, uh, and they will begin to see some crack in the below, in the brick wall. When the inspector came, the inspector said, there is a problem, the foundation was beginning to have problem. What it would take you to fix a foundational problem here, it's almost so expensive that sometimes some people will decide to just destroy the house and begin from afresh. Because foundational problems are big problem. Praise the Lord. My prayer for you, my brothers and sisters, this morning is that the mercy of God will visit your, you, will visit you at your foundation. And whatever that needs to be repaired will be repaired in the name of Jesus. You see, when it comes to God, God knows how to fix foundational problem. So it's when we go to him that he will begin to know what needs to be done in order to fix those foundational problems. We're going to look at three subheadings. The reasons for 40 foundation. The reasons. Why are there 40 foundation? The deliverance from the curse due to 40 foundation. There are things that came to us 
that because they are generational, they are foundational, they are hereditary, this is like a curse upon our life, and our life have never remained the same. And thirdly, we are going to deal with uprooting those foundational curse. We are going to deal with uprooting that con uh, foundational cause, and that's the time for prayer. Point number one, the reason for faulty foundation. In Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24, Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24, the Bible reads, this is my Lord speaking, this is our Lord speaking. He said, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and, the, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. That was a house that was built with a very solid foundation. Foundation were made with brick and mortar. They were made with concrete and stone. And so, even though it cost more to build a solid foundation, yet the builder knew that that is very fundamental to the structure of the house. They invested a lot. You know, people are blessed with children in this day and age. And the time that they are still in the home are the time that foundation needs to be solidly made. It is the time to instill that discipline. It's in the time to instill uh, respect. It is the time to make sure that prayer life becomes a habit and a culture of that young girl. Whether he likes it or not, they are woken at the, at the time for family devotion. They are told, they are taught, and they cancel that they cannot just be playing game up to 12 midnight. They, whether they frown their face, whether they give the excuses, the foundational are being laid because there is a time for foundation laying and there is a time when that foundation must have been laid and you can no longer go back and lay the foundation the building is already been made on the top of that foundation and you cannot go and rebuild the foundation except god helps you in the time of the initial foundation it might require grace and deliverance and mercy in order to correct a faulty foundation so this solid foundation needs to be made but look at what happened in verse 23 in verse uh in verse 26 sorry and everyone that heareth my saying the saying of mine and where them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which build his house upon the sand a shaky foundation and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it felt, and great was the fall of it. Faulty, shaky foundation. When a foundation was not properly laid, did you realize that the matters of life doesn't consider the type of foundation you had in your life. They don't care whether you were properly trained, whether your children were baptized or filled in the Holy Spirit. They, were, they didn't care which church they did attend. They mark the, the waves, the wind of life, we blow on every person equally. But the people that will remain standing are people who had wonderful, solid foundation. But the people with very shaky foundation, they will be shake, they, they, they will be swept out as the waves of life 
will come on. I pray that my, the Almighty God will give you the grace so that those of us that are building foundations in our life and in the life of our family members, the grace of God to do and make it a wonderful foundation will be granted to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Shaky foundation. The people why a lot of people have problems in life is because of shaky foundation. Whoever you are, the mercies of God can still reach you. Even though you have built under a shaky foundation. It's only the Lord that can correct shaky spiritual foundations. Amen? And today we are going to go to him as he will correct and fix whatever has gone wrong in our lives in the name of Jesus. The sub point, apart from shaky foundation, the reason for faulty foundation, it's because of the sins of the parents. Parents have committed evil and it's now a carryover problem on the life of the children. In Psalm 109 verse 13, Psalm 109 verse 13, let his prosperity, his prosperity be cut off. And in, the gen and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord. And let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. This is a curse. This is not good. When somebody father had already gone to maybe the idol or had dedicated and said something that look if I don't pay you if I don't pay you your money may it never be well and he said it may it never be well for him and his generation the children that are yet unborn do not know that the father and the, or the mother has used his mouth and covenanted with an evil spirit. And so, because they failed to pay that money, the covenant they had made is now uh, carried over the life of the children. Actually, we see a case of that in the Bible. In Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49, I read from verse 3. Genesis chapter 49, I read from verse 3. Reuben, remember what is happening here? Jacob was blessing all his children because he was about to die. He was about to uh, go to the, uh, to the beyond. And he called all his children. And he began to bless them from, uh, from verse 1. Starting from... And he began to bless them. And in verse 3, he said, Reuben, thou art my firstborn. My might." And the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity. And the excellency of power. Look, look at that. That was what he was to his father. That was the glory. That Reuben would have had. A life of excellency and a life of power. But look at what he said in verse 4. Unstable as water. That means even though you had all this upcoming potential, you are unstable as water. You, you are indecisive in life. You allow people to dribble you and you cannot make a clear cut decision of who you belong or where you where you stand. You are neither for God nor for man. 
you are being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine and he said unstable as water thou shalt not excel because of that you will not excel in life because thou wentest up to thy father's bed then defilest thou it he went up to my couch his father there are something the son did he the fed the father never forgot he was waiting for the day of his death in fact and he swore you you Reuben you did not fear to go into sleep with your stepmother my wife you will not excel in life you see sin brings a curse and a reproach amen so did you see that the generational curse was passed on Reuben and on the children Reuben was under a curse from, the, from then on even though he was the first son he had the privilege of double portion that belongs to the first son was denied him the blessing of kingship of leadership was denied him it might be what you have been going over in life that it looks like when i'm about to hit a blessing something evil will happen your life is becoming like that of reuben unstable unsteady in progress your progression are quickly terminated you don't progress steadily you rather start and then you just terminate is that right sister Miguel? but that is what is happening praise the lord but thank god for the grace of god thank god for the mercies of god did you know that in deuteronomy that curse of reuben thank god for moses who reversed the curse on reuben in deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6 that's why god whatever curse anyone has made upon your life whatever curse anything generational curse that you have been carried over by your parent in the name of jesus you shall live and you shall not die in jesus name in deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6 deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6 uh, the bible says and this is the prophet the man of god moses he said let reuben live and not die and let not his men be few he's been cursed in genesis he took deuteronomy to reverse that curse by a man of god and by god's grace there is even a bigger there, there is even a bigger pronouncement as we go to point number two which is deliverance from the curse deliverance from the curse amen you could see there are reasons to have a shaky foundation and that shaky foundation brings the lack of productivity in our life it brings the fact that the lack of progression in our lives spiritually physically and otherwise amen but i want to tell you that we have jesus there is an amazing grace that this generation had this dispensation has given unto us and that is the dispensation of the spirit and of the grace of god amen and by god's grace we shall live and we shall not die ezekiel ezekiel chapter 16 ezekiel chapter 16 verse 18 the word of the lord came unto me again saying what mean ye that you use this proverb concerning the land of israel saying sorry ezekiel chapter 18 from verse 1 
Ezekiel chapter 18 from verse 1. The word of the Lord came unto me again saying, What mean ye that you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children tilt as set on edge. As I live, says the Lord, that says the Lord God, ye shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel. In, verse, in Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 14, it continues. Ezekiel chapter 16, uh, verse 44. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44, he said, Behold, everyone that uses these proverbs shall use this proverb against the saying as it's the mother so is her daughter no god said no not anymore the soul that sin it it shall die everyone you can no longer be a carryover of the sins of your father but he's talking about the people who will surrender unto the lord today we have the grace of god Today, we have the Spirit of the Lord. Today, we have Jesus Christ that delivers us from the power and the curse of the, of the enemy. Amen? If we take advantage and come to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm not worthy to be called a child of God. Maybe my parents even had me out of wedlock maybe they had me out of sin maybe my parents did some evil that i don't know but father please i come before you on my own to say that i love you i have sinned against you please have mercy upon me and that whatever curse that has been upon my life because of the sins of my parents. Lord, cancel them in my life and, my life and set me free in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus delivers from the, cause, from the curse of the law. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. The Bible says, Christ had redeemed us. From the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written. Cursed is everyone that hanged on the three. Because if you are in Christ. Nobody can put a curse in your life. Curses in your life might be effective. Only if you are not. If you don't have a defense system. A defend, uh, defend mechanism, which is the blood of Jesus. If you live a life of sin, you are breaking an edge, and the serpent can come in and bite you. If you are living a secret sin, you are giving a room. You know, there are things in your life that gives you up, gives you up to the attack of the enemy. There are things that you allow, that you possess, that gives you up to the enemy. Jesus Christ said, the prince of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me. He's coming even to attack me, Jesus. But when he comes, he won't find any reason to attack because I don't have any of his, I don't have any of his products. I don't have any of his material. He cannot claim. But if the devil comes in your if the devil comes, will he see some areas things in your phone? Will he see some secret things in your life? That the devil will say, ah, that's and when the spirit of God is asking, please, you can't have him. The spirit, the devil will say, Ah, you think it's yours? It's mine. Look at his cupboard, his drawer. Look at the uh, look at Maxim or Playboy magazine there. Uh, look at his phone. Check his phone. It's my product. He has bought. He's bought into my product. 
Look at the item he has saved and bookmarked on his internet website. Look at the password that he has saved and he has hidden. And it is my property. You people will think it belongs to you. But actually it belongs to me. Look at his browsing histories. It's my property. I have reason to come in to possess and to attack him. Because he has my property. Oh, you don't know? The devil will say. Oh, you think because he comes to church and sings in your choir. Did you know what he does when he travels? Do you know that he has a, a, a girlfriend, a second wife? Oh, you don't know. He's my property. My question is, can the devil lay claim upon your life that you are his? Give them a reason not to. Give him a reason. So that when you say, depart from me. Say that. The devil will say, okay, I respect that. The devil will not respect the name of Jesus from your mouth. If you still belong to Je if, if you belong, if you still have his property. Look at those seven sons, skivers. Probably they will have come to church and see how he's performed. And they want to use the name of Jesus that they don't know. They are not living for. The devil pounded on them for abusing that name. And trying to use that name against him when they don't have the power. I remember several years ago we wanted to go and pray for a, a woman that the, a, there is a spirit of a snake in her life. And one of the brothers said, ah, I'm afraid though. <laughs> you know, what if this thing leaves from that and, and, and look for where to find? You know, I should have asked him, but eventually found out there's actually a sin. The sin makes you, you are not bold when you are picked off to come and pray. You are praying and I respect people who could say, Pastor, please, I'm not fit. I respect people who will be honest. But there are people whom you said, okay, for image sake, even though they, they know they just beat their wife, then they came to church. Even though their wife's eye, wife is now wearing goggles, she doesn't wear goggles, but she wants to protect the image of the husband. So, and they are sitting in the church. And a pastor will say, hey bro, please, can you lead us in the, uh, the prayer session? And he started prayer, prayer. And the wife said, oh my God. And the brother with bold face is reading prayer. And even, even saying, all these wife abusers. All you men who, who would beat their wife. Let's pray for them. And the woman would say, oh God, have mercy. Blood of Jesus. You know? This saying, the devil will just be looking and say, and be laughing at you. Because that prayer will go nowhere. Transparency. If you know that you are having a product of the enemy. If you know, that means you haven't fully made up for Jesus. Discard all those traces of the powers of darkness. So that the spirit of God can find, uh, move freely in your life. Jesus will deliver you today. Jesus can deliver you today. But you just have to be ready for him. Amen? Jesus will not share with anybody. He has the full right not to share. Jesus wants 100% of you, not 99% of you or nothing of you. So if you are willing to ask, allow Jesus to rule and reign, then you have to give him your all. Amen? We're going to the real thing, point number three. Uprooting the curse. That's why we're here this, this, this morning. In Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 that we've read, Jesus said, but he answered and said unto them, every plant 
which my father my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted in the name of jesus any one of you that is hearing the voice of my uh, that is hearing the sound of my voice and the devil has written death in your life that's not the plan and the purpose of god for your life in the name of jesus i uproot that the spirit of death from your life in the name of jesus any one of you that the devil has written and cancel your marriage and say you will never enjoy your marriage and your marriage will be cancelled and you will be divorced i cancel all the plans and the purposes of the devil from the foundation from the root wherever they are i command in the name of jesus they will be uprooted in jesus name but you see brethren your foundation is the beginning of your strength your foundation is your origin your foundation is the place where you're coming from your foundation is your yesterday your foundation is the is the hereditary for family pattern that you came from your foundation is your bloodline your foundation is things it's the things about your dna and some of them might have been screwed some of them must have some of them must have been tampered some of them the devil must have infused in in some of those your origin and it has distorted your progression because of a faulty foundation good news my brothers and sisters and i'm happy you're here because the spirit of god will break loose all those foundational problems in our lives in the name of jesus Look, you might not even be the, cur the, the cause of this foundational problem. Like I've already told you. They could be, uh, they could be foundational. In, in, in fact, when you look at Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21, it says, Prepare the slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their father. But they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the war with the cities. The problem of the fathers could be, but you shall arise you shall rise in the mighty name of jesus you cannot rise beyond the heights of your foundation but today you will rise amen go that foundation that is invisible but it exists spiritual foundations are invisible but they exist and if they have a crack on the world there is a problem the Lord will deliver us. We are going into the session of prayer. But before we pray, I've said it before and I want to repeat. That you want to acknowledge God and know that he does exist. And that he has and you meet the requirements of willingness to confess your sin. The willingness to uh, repent from your sin. The willingness to follow God back. Amen. If you are willing to come to Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, you know, I am not fit to be a Christian. I have I've done evil in my past that I am not even worthy to, come be, to be called a child of God. But Father, I still learn that today you can still have mercy upon me. Even to an unworthy person like me, Father, I come before the throne. And I'm asking, oh God, I surrender all that I'm asking that you cleanse me and you purge me from every foundational problem in my life in the name of Jesus. You get born again. You truly repent from every sin. You cut off from every known ancestral evil lineage. There are some you could have known what has happened and you were party to that. You are not ignorant when you got to the age of knowledge your parent told you something that only you knew about it it was something secretive it was a place they took you it was something they did in your body it was something they did in your life and when you have come as an adult things are beginning to happen in your life but you can trace it back to that thing which was done. Or maybe they will tell you the wickedness they did. And why they had to do it to safeguard your life. And because of that, you have been, you have grown up. And that wickedness you knew, 
you, it has never been restricted. The secret is just with you and your family. And you know that it is time to come up, cl come clean and ask God for mercy. And ask God, tell God that you will go and do the right thing. You will go and reverse the uh, that evil that your ancestors has done. You need to give your life totally to God, not half hazardly and ask for mercy. May we all stand, please. As we go to God in prayer, those of us at home, please, if you can stand, as we are going into the uh, room of prayer, and we want to ask God, Father, today, you are going to uproot every faulty foundation that has been in my life in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to God. I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to God. I want you to open your mouth and begin to ask God, Lord, I am grateful that, Lord, you have brought me to your house today. I am grateful because today is the day of my deliverance. Today is the day of my emancipation. Today is my day of freedom. Today is a day, oh God, that I will be set free and I will live for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I am asking, oh God, that, Father, your power, your power, your mercy, your kindness, your greatness will be upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Pray. Open your mouth and begin to confess that sin. Those secret sins. Stand up. Stand up. And it's time to pray. It's time to set yourself free. It's time to set yourself free. It's time to set yourself free. That God confess your sin to God. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. The blood of Jesus, oh God, deliver me. I don't know why, oh God, that thing has helped, that bad habit has always helped me, oh God. Oh Lord, I am not free. Father, I need your help. I need a hand of heaven to destroy the power of and the yoke of sin in my life the lord i will be set free god in the name of jesus set me free oh god let the power of the holy ghost crush every evil habit every evil power of the enemy upon my life take away from the roots oh god or uproot every seed of the enemy in my life every seed the hunger and the interest of the enemy upon my life father uproot them oh god and that i will be set free that i will be set free whatever oh god the enemy has written against my life every handwriting that has written evil against my life lord uproot them uproot them in jesus name we pray i want us to pray and say jesus jesus christ you are the yoke breaker break my yoke in the name of jesus open your mouth and call upon the name of jesus the name the bible says the, it is the greatest name that has been given unto men that at the name of Jesus every name must bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the, uh, uh, is the Lord I want you to pray and say Jesus you are the yoke breaker break the yoke in my life break the yoke of the enemy in my life Break the yoke of the enemy in the life of my children. Break the yoke of the enemy in my family. Break the yoke of the enemy in my career. Break the enemy, uh, uh, the yoke of the enemy in my tomorrow. Lord, I will live and I shall not die. Open your mouth, brethren. Open your mouth, brethren, and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Begin to call upon the name of the Lord. 
in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray and I, I want you to pray and say Lord I release myself from every collective captivity in the name of Jesus I release myself from any contract that have been written and signed in my name without my being aware of them Lord I denounce the devil and all his powers and all his influence upon my life and I set myself free in the name of Jesus I want you to pray and say Lord father everything that has been written against me everything that has been said oh Lord I against me that is affecting me maybe unknowingly I said it myself father God maybe at a time of ignorance father maybe at the time of my low ebb maybe at the time that I was not saved and they are beginning to affect me I release myself from every collective captivity from in the name of Jesus and I set myself free I set my children free I set my family free I set my husband free I set my wife free I set my church free I set every one of my uh, of the members of our church free I set every member that enters here every one in the name of Jesus I set them free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord call whomsoever call it upon the name of the Lord shall be saved whomsoever call it upon the name of the Lord shall be saved in Jesus mighty name we pray every family God every family goddess that wants to drag my destiny in the mud they will die and they will be destroyed in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray every God every ancestral spirit that want to drag are holding my destiny they are holding my destiny that I cannot progress in life and every time I am caged in the name of Jesus I stand again every of those gods I stand again every of those de demonic spirit and I pray Holy Father destroy them in my life destroy them in my life destroy the effect in my life and set me free oh god every spirit of death every spirit of cancer every spirit of sickness every spirit of high blood pressure every spirit of diabetes every spirit of backache every spirit of the enemy that is telling me is because of age abraham abraham was hundred and something and the bible did not tell us about our thirsties the, the, the uh, moses was over 100 about 120 years old and that man the bible said he was able to even climb at the age of 80 at the age of 90 climb to the mountain and meet the lord i want us to pray holy god in the name of jesus all that you have written concerning me oh god all the good intention that you have for me and my family father lord i receive your healing i receive your healing i receive your health i receive your power in the mighty name of jesus every ancestral ancestral family altar that i command you that to live my life to live my life alone in the name of jesus i come against you and i bring all your plans and your influence upon my life to not in the mighty name of jesus open and call upon the name of the lord i the lord the bible say whomever the lord jesus christ set free shall be free indeed i command in the name of jesus you shall be set free i command in the name of jesus you are set free from every ancestral spirit from every ancestral power that is working against your children that your children even though you have brought them to the knowledge of the lord they have grown up and they are departing from the things of the lord that is not of the will of the lord that is a power so from the pit of hell i want you to open your mouth and say father father i declare i will not suffer what my parents suffered in the name of jesus open your mouth my parents were poor i will not be poor my parents die young i will not die young my parents are uh, had it difficult in life i will not have difficult in life our oh lord oh god make my destiny brighter make my tomorrow much better than my parents 
Father, Lord, I am asking, oh God, that Lord, my children will be better than me. Holy Father, I am praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, oh God, I will be better than my parents. I will live longer than my parents. I will serve, oh God, you better than my parents. In the mighty name of Jesus, open the name, open the, your mouth and begin to declare. Begin to declare. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I will not suffer. I will not be in hardship. I will not be a beggar. I will not be, I will not always be going to get, go and get loan. Father, I, I will be a lender. Make me a lender. Make me a blessing to others. I will not be a parasite to others, but I will be, oh God, a beacon of the blessings of God on many on people's life. Lord, I declare I will not suffer. Open your mouth and put your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, we're still praying. We're praying that every promise, every vow every covenant made on my behalf that is affecting my life i will break i ask that lord will be broken today in the name of jesus i want us to pray that in my breakthrough my breakthrough my breakthroughs arrested by the devil you know when god is coming you're bringing your breakthrough and you're bringing your your blessings he could be the prince of patience that is hijacking the blessings and the breakthrough that god has made for you we want to pray this morning that i release every breakthrough that is that is connected to my life in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the lord open your mouth and begin to call upon the earth that i will be a recipient of my breakthrough i will be a recipient of the goodness and the mercies of god i will be a recipient of all that the lord has written concerning me in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and call upon the name of the lord and let the blessings of god let the blessings of god let the pronouncements of the spirit be upon your life in the name of jesus open let Reuben live. Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. My men will not be few. My tomorrow will not be few. My prosperity will not be few. Lord, my breakthroughs will not be few. Lord, my blessings will not be few. Lord, oh God, arise. Heavenly Father, arise in my life in the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Every faulty foundation, every troublesome foundation that is dragging my destiny in the mud, I receive deliverance today in the name of Jesus. Every power making it difficult for me to move, um, to move forward, I want them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every troublesome transfer, a foundation dragging my destiny. Oh, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I I pray, Lord, you will destroy them, destroy them, destroy them in Jesus' name. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Tell God, Lord, I decree by the decree of the fire of the Holy Spirit that and any that any power prolonging my life's journey in the wilderness of life that anything that is prolonging my life journey people will go and pass the exam one time i will go and I'm pa i will not pass the exam three times lord anything that is prolonging my life journey that father people will get married and they'll begin to have children i will i will get married and i will not begin to have children father oh god anything that is pro God, prolonging my life journey people will get we will uh, we will get at the age of 23 at the age of 20 and there were suitors are coming and they will get married father oh god whatever is happening in my own life that even though i am of ripe age 
Oh God, people are not coming. And the people that are coming are not fit. Whatever is prolonging my life journey, the life journey of my children, Father, that is making them, oh God, not to be progressing in life. In the name of Jesus, Father, I destroy every plans and purposes of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare open your mouth and destroy every every foundation that my father has not planted in my life lord they will not remain every from the anything that the devil has not planted in my life father they will be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus i pray oh god i will succeed lord i will progress i will succeed in the mighty name of jesus have your way lord have your way king of glory have your way the one in whom we have to do have your way oh god the amazing king have your way oh god because you are breaking you are changing destinies you are changing destinies you are making things to work to your own glory receive all the glory father receive all the honor receive all the praise because you are a good god you have done all things well in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray finally i want you to pray i want you to pray and say i will rise in jesus name i will possess my possessions in jesus name i want you to repeat them after me i will rise in jesus name i will possess my possessions in jesus name i will not die but live I will see the salvation of the Lord. I will live for the Lord. I will serve Jesus. I will make heaven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I want you to stretch forth your hand towards me. And those of you that are, that, that are right there in Zoom, please stretch forth your hand. And I want, you to, I want you to receive this prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, giving glory to the Lord. He reigns. Giving glory to the Lord. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. I give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you honor. Father, we give you glory. Because there is only one name that heaven respects. There is only one name, oh God, that Lord, that when he's pronounced in the midst of the demons, they tremble, they fear, they respect, and they honor it. That is the name among every other name. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. And Father, we come in that name this morning. Father, we come, oh God, in that name this morning. Because Father, we have realized there are 40 foundations in our lives and they are beginning to affect us oh god father your people are eating what they don't know what they ate and then for years it's been affecting us oh god father we have seen what we ought not to have seen oh god and the imagery oh god of those demonic image lord has been tormenting our lives oh god father it affected it's affecting nightmares causing nightmares in our life father this has happened oh god in our in, in our past that is now causing us that the spirit of death has been hovering over our lives father lord oh god we come before you this day because lord it was you that said that every tree that my father has not planted in my life in our life that father you will uproot and so father we come in the name of 
of Jesus that father every foundational every generational curse every foundational problem that Lord we have had in our spiritual problem in our marital home father in our career in our destinies oh God I pray that the hand of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost that father Lord that you will uproot them from their roots in our lives in Jesus name Lord it might be the spirit of ill health father oh god that has been tormenting our lives we cannot progress oh god we cannot even walk for you the way we should father lord oh god i am praying in the mighty name of jesus father arise oh god and let the enemies of god be scattered in our lives in the name of jesus father god i am pleading the blood of jesus i plead the blood of jesus upon every one of your children here anyone oh god lord i pray god destroy every person's whom oh god their journey in life has been limited anyone be where they ought to be in life they are not because of the operation of the powers of darkness i reversed all that you have lost all that the caterpillars and canker worm has eaten in your life i reverse them in the name of jesus and i pray oh god the god the king of glory the mercy of heaven will be directed towards your your life in the name of jesus you shall recover all in jesus name i pray for you young man i pray for you young lady that it looks like you are slow in life you are slow in learning i pray that the brilliance that that the lord has given to his people and that makes them 10 times smarter 10 times wiser let it be your portion in the name of jesus Amen. heavenly father i am asking oh god the zeal for god the zeal and the passion for the things of the lord lord grant to each and every one of us oh god i pray oh god when the evil one comes that he will not find anything of the devil in our life not by our speech not in our thoughts not in our actions but that father oh god the spirit of god we have an overwhelming rule over our lives in the mighty name of jesus we thank you because we know you've had an answer father we are delivered in the name of jesus we are set free by the blood of the lamb i give you honor and glory for all the mighty and great things you have done in our midst be thou exalted in all things heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. I wish I had a grace and fellowship.